reminding everyone fireworks are illegal and dangerous. New at 10, KTV's Azza Smith is here, and as does the city of San Jose doubled the fines for those caught firing off those fireworks. Yes, Andre, new this month, a person can be fined $1,000 for a first offense. Fire officials say the illegal firework activity that occurred back on July 4th was unprecedented, and they suspect the pandemic had something to do with it. The big New Year's Eve fireworks show witnessed by thousands on San Francisco's Embarcadero is not happening this year, canceled due to the pandemic. In fact, there has not been word of any sanctioned fireworks shows, leaving many to wonder, will people start their own? Absolutely, the absence of having those um, professional fireworks shows, um, we do believe has contributed to the use of illegal fireworks in the community. Erica Ray with San Jose Fire says the city logged more than 6,600 complaints of illegal fireworks back on July 4th, three times more than the previous year. The fire department responded to 54 fires. We had trouble covering all of the emergency calls across the city. With people getting uh, stuck at home in quarantine, I think people are looking for excuses to come outdoors. Law enforcement expects a busy holiday. San Jose resident Jeff Levine documents fireworks in his neighborhood. Security cameras capturing illegal activity last week. We're in the middle of a dense urban uh, situation and it just doesn't make any sense to fire these things off. It's not just concerns of harm to the person igniting the firework, but concerns of fires, veterans with PTSD, and pets. New Year's Eve is my second most unfavorite holiday. <laughs> that second to the 4th of July holiday. Susan Maroney has both a husband with PTSD and several dogs. The dogs are terrified. They're shaking. They're, it's traumatic and abusive to all animals. Firework fines in San Jose got steeper in December. 1,000 for a first offense up from $500. 2,000 for the second time, it used to be 700. $3,000 for the third violation up from a grand. Hopefully people are, are gonna get the idea that it, not only is it dangerous, but it's quite expensive if you get caught. And we're told professional grade fireworks are quite expensive this year. So it remains to be seen if that will have any effect on any activity tomorrow. San Jose residents can report firework activity to the city's online reporting tool. A picture or video evidence is highly recommended. Andre? You know, as if every year uh, officials send out the warning and every year we see fireworks and not just a few, we see a lot of them and particularly down in San Jose. Uh, you've covered them in the past as well. Um, have they revealed to you, officials there revealed to you how they plan on cracking down on it this year? Are they patrolling the area? Well, um, it's hard because I, I know, as you've mentioned, I have reported on this um, throughout the years. And in terms of actually uh, enforcing um, the fireworks, uh, illegal fireworks activity, it's almost up to the private citizens to uh, report the activity um, and capture it via, you know, a cell phone video or a picture and then report it through the online tool. Uh, in terms of staffing up, I asked uh, San Jose Fire if they plan to staff up and uh, they could not provide me an answer. I also asked Santa Clara PD. So they have enough staff to answer to emergencies, but it really will be up to the citizens to uh, try and report folks. And it's hard because you're, you, you know, you're reporting on your neighbor and also catching them in the act and having that actual evidence um, can be tough to provide. It is. And we saw them putting out an ad uh, asking people to take a picture with their cell phone of what they see and send it into them so uh, those neighbors can report it. All right, as it's been reporting for us live, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Thank you, Asna.